Since 1973, Independent Delivery Service has built a strong reputation of trust and creativity as a vital communication link between business and their customers. As one of the largest alternative distribution services in the country, IDS delivers more than 50 million pieces per year in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Serving high-profile corporations such as Procter & Gamble, Domino's, Kodak, and Target. With numerous startup family-owned businesses eager to grow, we exist so you can target your market. Most of it's about visibility, shelf life. Those things are very important in the advertising business. The thing that they got to realize with us is that they're going to get higher visibility and they're probably going to be able to use uh, or to get a better response off the delivery. Well, right now, you've got some real issues going on in the advertising business. Daily papers, Sunday newspapers, circulation is dropping like a rock. And it's all over the country. It's not just Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, to the point where it's almost reaching double digits every year, or maybe even greater than that. And because of that, um, a lot of large retailers, people like Menards and Target and Best Buy, are very dependent on those advertising circulars but the circulation keeps dropping. So they're going to be shortly looking for alternatives. There's a lot of our competitors that are smaller that uh, don't have the things that we offer. They don't have GPS tracking. They don't have uh, radio contact with the, with the drivers. They don't have visual contact. They don't have uh, uh, the routing systems that we have set up over the last 30 years. I've had national companies come in and actually look at our delivery where they've sent in their own supervisors and a number of times they've said, you guys are the best we've seen in the whole country. While newspapers, preprints, flyers, door hangers and product samples have been the core of our delivery business, IDS has also teamed up with creative companies and advertising agencies looking to find a unique approach with our large network of potential consumers. We've done all kinds of crazy stuff, what people would think of crazy, but it really does, uh, you really do get a, uh, a lot of awareness when you put different things out there. For instance, a local company here, um, uh, Dunn Brothers Coffee, was one that we did, where um, they actually delivered a bag of, uh, of coffee, uh, and, or not the coffee itself, but a bag to put coffee in. And what they did is they turned around and uh, had the people come in and then they filled the bag at a really, really good price. And they had quite a response off that. It was a very unique delivery. And in fact, when I, uh, I join, I'm part of a national organization of companies like ourselves. And I've actually, uh, I actually won an award for that delivery. But you can also do all sorts of creative things. I mean, we've delivered baby pine trees to uh, when Unity Hospital was opening a new uh, function, I don't remember what it was exactly, up at their hospital, and we did, you know, 30, 40,000 little baby pine trees. Now, I'll tell you what, you get a little tree on your door, you're going to notice that. And they ended up having to have a stop delivery, mid-delivery, because their phones were burning up. We're talking a hospital. Now, that doesn't happen. People are bombarded with hundreds of messages every day, whether it's electronic media, print media, billboards, but it is very unique to drive up to your home and see, oh, okay, there is a door hanger there on my doorknob. We saw immediate results and continued results. It, it didn't just happen for a year. It didn't just happen for two years. It continued and continued until now we're delivering 30,000 pieces. The results quantify what we're doing because I can look at our membership growth during that immediate period after the drop and I can see people coming in with flyers. So I'm pretty confident that we're hitting the areas that we're targeted to hit. Well, affordability depends on, to me, it depends on rate of return. So sometimes you say, well, I can't afford to run flyers, but I can afford to run an ad in a paper. Well, yeah, you maybe can run an ad in a paper, but if you don't get the response that you get from the flyers, even though it was cheaper, you didn't benefit yourself. 
So to me, it's totally about rate of return. And we like to say that our rate of return is higher than anything else out there. Are we the cheapest option? Not always. We're not always the cheapest option. And we'll admit that up front. But we really feel that we can get them a better response than they can get anywhere else. I firmly believe in, in hitting people the market you want to get to more often. And a lot of the other direct marketing uh, programs that are out there were significantly more expensive. The independent delivery service allows me, because it's a less expensive way to get to that market, I can do it more times, which is more effective for me. We also were able to grow our newsletter because if we went from an eight page to a 12 page to a 16 page, it didn't impact the price. Whereas if we'd have done those increases and tried to mail, we would have seen a significant increase at the post office. With a delivery capacity of over 850,000 households, we offer a number of solutions and price strategies to meet your advertising needs. We have broken down every zip code into mini zones, and then we take those mini zones and we break those down into individual routes. So I can go sit with a customer and say, here's your location, here's the routes in that zip code, which, ones, which neighborhoods would you like to hit? IDS has a variety of delivery schedules to meet your needs. Our most affordable solution is to place your piece with our already existing deliveries. Over 30 community newspapers in the metro area entrust IDS with their home delivery. We can also customize your order with a well-designed delivery schedule in the neighborhoods you select with deliveries to the doorknob, porch, or mobile route tube or mailbox post. Count mailboxes. That's how we tell how many are in a house or a duplex or a fourplex. Everyone gets a paper, top step. We set up our routes based on geography, uh, on buying patterns, on uh, corporate boundaries for cities, uh, zip code boundaries. So we have our routes designed just about already for just about anything somebody wants. We had a cement guy that was wanting to replace cement driveways, so we had our carriers actually not deliver to all the blacktop driveways. Example, if you're a storm chasing, you know, because there have been torn there's been tornado damage in a path or a swath through town, you know, we could actually target the swath. I mean, we could actually target where the damage is by selecting different routes and skipping other ones. So that again, we can be very efficient for somebody by just targeting the people that can be their customer. It means everything because we go after only a set region surrounding our club and going outside of that is just a waste of marketing dollar. So being able to zone in by zone to really focus to the direct area we want to get to was fantastic. Fully insured delivery operation, we utilize a number of methods to confirm your message is delivered on time and to the designated areas, one delivery at a time. The latest innovation in quality control is GPS tracking, which we use extensively in our system. We're able to track our carriers wherever they are. It's actually a cell phone they carry with a GPS system on it, and it um, pings every two minutes, so every time Every two minutes, they send us a ping to our computer system so we can track where they go during the day. We can tell if they're skipping streets because all of a sudden if they go down the street, there's one ping on one street where you think there should be like three or four pings, we have a problem. They're going too fast for deliveries. Next stop. You have to be careful that the job is done right. So you can't get by just on GPS tracking. GPS tracking is a big part of it, but also we gotta make sure we have quality control out there. So we have a supervisor, especially in our walking areas, that's out there constantly supervising the carriers and watching and making sure they're doing it, doing it properly. A personal commitment of quality when performing your jobs are still a major part of the IDS experience. Because we understand that our business is getting your business noticed. 
What really sticks out in my mind are the customers that I've encountered. I'm not always on the floor at the store, but when I do step away from my desk and I'm on the floor and I see somebody holding a newsletter and I realize they're in here for the first time because of that piece, that is such a significant impact.